Hey guys, what's up? Hope your new year's off to a good start. Got plenty of videos coming out for you, but had a little something pop up today. Just to give you guys a PSA of what not to do while cooking. So yesterday, I made an acorn squash soup that I thought was awful. It was missing something. So, so today I decided I want to cook something that I know we can't screw up, right? Got this huge pork loin, which turns out it is too big for the crock pot. We had this in the freezer, I threw it in there last week. But, obviously it won't fit in here. And it's still a little, I thawed it out a little bit, but it's still a little hard, right? So I decided, well, let me cut it, you know, I got, I have good knives, right? I'm going to cut this thing. Instead of letting it thaw out a little bit more in here. Well, now can you see down in here? There's something in there, isn't there? I'm going to have to get it here in a minute. Let this thaw out a little more, I guess. That is the pork loin. I'm going to turn this into pulled pork. Make some green beans. And some homemade mac and cheese. It's going to be good, right? But, in the meantime, I decided, hey, let me try to cut that sucker. Got these good Wustoff knives. I mean, I've had these so long that it rubbed off the little logo there. But if you look at the knife, you can still see what it is. It's a chef knife. It's about an $80 knife. Really good, really sharp. I keep it sharpened. Well, when you hit something frozen... and bend it a little bit, it snaps. I want to cry. I do have another chef knife that's made by Chicago Cutlery. That It's a good knife too. It's not this knife. but I guess I'll have to save up and replace this because I looked at the warranty. If you do something stupid like cut frozen things, it's no longer under warranty. As old as this is, they probably wouldn't warranty it anyway because they have normal wear and tear. And gosh, I've had these knives a good 10 years, if not longer. They're old. So, here's my Chicago cutlery knife, chef knife. Still have this. This is a good knife. It's not my worst off. Really need a meat cleaver, I guess, something. A saw, a laser. But this will not be getting treated like that one was. I am not thrilled about that at all. I cook a lot. A lot. So kids, from my stupidity, learn. If any of you cook, do not go shoving a knife in a frozen piece of meat. No good can come of it. 